Steve Robbins here. Welcome to the Get It Done Guys Quick and Dirty Tips to Work Less and Do More. Today's topic is using passion to motivate you at work. Hello, Steve. This is Reed. I've been listening to your podcast and they're great. And I have a question for you for your podcast. Every time, whenever I go to work, I really just lose enthusiasm before I get there. So this may be more of a psychology question than a uh, organizational question, but I wonder if you have any tips about how to maintain a spark or maintain that special spark. How about that? Maintain enthusiasm for work before you get there. When I lose that enthusiasm, I, I lose energy, and it seems to sap my uh, organizational ability to or my effectiveness. All right. Thanks. Bye. Read the quick and dirty tip comes from Monty Python's movie Life of Brian. Always look on the bright side of life, or at least find where you're passionate and concentrate on that. Find what you love about your job. Connecting to your true motivators can be powerful. 19-year-old Ryan Alice was passionate about entrepreneurship. He started a little company and by age 23 was running at $10 million per year. I met him through a mutual friend and asked his secret. He brings passion to everything he does, in part by keeping the passion front and center. Think, don't worry, be happy. Trite, I know. But it works. When you're driving to work, chances are that you're going over all the ways your job sucks. You're reviewing that nasty email a customer sent, or the boredom you felt waiting for your computer to reboot, or worse, Bernice's new polyester pantsuit. Yes, lycra stretches way too far. But don't dwell on the lycra. Dwell on your dear friend Bernice and how much you love her. See? Even abject terror can change to love with the right mindset. You need to read, find where there's passion in your job. Focus on that and let it pull you forward. People find passion in different places. Let's explore where you can find yours. Do you love your tasks? What you love may be the tasks you do. You're a total numbers geek and nothing thrills you more than spending a quiet evening by candlelight, creating a 200 by 200 spreadsheet model of Walmart's expansion into Asia. You'll be single for life, but that's okay. A friend of mine worked as a negotiator and loved the challenge of finding a middle ground where both parties felt, um, equally dissatisfied. Put your attention on the tasks you love and let them charge you up. Do you love your industry? You may love your industry or your company most. Think entertainers. They're so dazzled by the industry, they'll wait tables, all the while keeping their motivation high by deriving great personal satisfaction from knowing they're quote unquote, in the business. Hmm. When the get it done guy goes video, I'll be accepting applications for unpaid slit, uh, interns. Do you love the people you work with? Relationships may be your key. You love your colleagues at work or serving customers or spending quality time with your strategic partners, purchasing agent. You might enjoy the actual relationships for their own sake, or you might enjoy the roles and what you represent to each other. Personally, I love helping people become more skillful and more successful. When one of my first clients climbed Mount Kilimanjaro after our work together, it changed my life, knowing I'd played a part in making that happen. If relationships are your key, your energy comes from touching other people, appropriately, of course. Does your job give you freedom? And if all else fails, ask yourself why you're working at that job anyway. You may remember you took it because it would give you enough free time to pursue your blindfolded trumpet tap dance routine. Imagine taking an exciting job like being an actuarial accountant because you know you can save up enough to retire for life in six years. Even if you hate the job, counting down the days until retirement can be very motivating. And being an actuary, you can even know if the odds are in your favor of living until that age 40 retirement. Life gives you everything. You have tasks, an industry, a company, people, roles you play, and outcomes you're striving for. You pick and choose what you'll react to. Grab a piece of paper and list out all those aspects of your job. Find the ones that appeal to you and reactivate your passion by paying attention to what lights your fire while ignoring the parts of the job that just don't do it for you. Is it time to change jobs? If there's no aspect of your job that excites you, it may be time to consider a major change. Since visiting San Diego, I've always viewed the surfer beach bum lifestyle with envy. Or maybe you can become an entrepreneur. In this week's transcript, you'll find a link to an interview with Ryan Alice to find out a bit more about how you can build your empire, make a difference, and live your passion. 
This is Steve Robbins. You can find a link to the Ryan Alice interview at getitdone.quickanddirtytips.com. Work less, do more, and have a great life.